Now, all this week, we are looking at what happens when communities come together to fund those projects that no one else wants to support. Well, one such project has transformed the village of Thorny in Cambridgeshire. After finding out there wasn't any money available for a new play area, the villagers decided to do it themselves, as Nicola Hazler has been finding out. It's a story of breathing fresh air into a community. <laughs> An underused park now bouncing back to life. Well, here we are at Thorny Park with its newly opened play area. This is Matilda, this is Bonnie. They're going to show us their favourite pieces of equipment. Go! This is everyone's favourite, the zip wire. Whee! This is the running bike. I do the arms and Matilda does the legs. We really like this because it can go really fast. And all of this was paid for by community fundraising, applications for grants and donations. <laughs> there was nothing, all they had was a little play area for the smaller kids uh, and that was it. I just wanted them just to get off the streets, outside the shops and that lot, make it safer for the people that want to go to the shops or it, and then get them to a place, off the play stations, off all the different things, just get a bit fitter, get outside, fresh air. But it's not just for the young, villagers of all ages are enjoying the new equipment. It's in the open air, which is better than being in a gym, really. Because you get the fresh air, people are going by, they're shouting hello and, or stop and talk, and you have a long rest. And it's, re it's really, really good. In fact, the second person down the zip wire was 83-year-old Jean Underhay. It's really transformed the village. Before, when you walk through the park, you'd see a lot of dog walkers, um, but you wouldn't really see any kids here, which was a real shame. Whenever you walk through, there seems to be something going on now, and it's nice to hear laughter and kids playing. Um, and they're not just coming and using the equipment now, they're actually staying and doing other things. It was, in fact, the discovery that there was no council money for play equipment that inspired this community to swing into action. Nicola Hazler, BBC Lachise, Thorny. I love that. Never too old for a zip wire. In fact, the community in Little Shelford in Cambridgeshire did something very similar. Amazing play areas. Well done to everyone who fundraised for those.